Hello, uh, in this video I am going to show you how to download and install Turbo C++ on Windows 7. Um, it is very simple, uh, only uh, you, you need is a DOS box software. This is the first step you have to do. Just uh, I have a link for that, I will put that in description. Just um, go to the link and uh, I am just copying the link. And uh, here it is all, uh, already here. Yeah, here it is, and then uh, click this one in this link. The, um, it will direct to the Dosbox software. After that, it will be downloaded. Yeah, uh, I have already uh, downloaded and installed it. So what I what I like to you guys to do is just uh, download that and then install. Um, after that, install it will be in the desktop in here like this and then uh, the step 2 is just have to download our main software is uh, in our Turbo C++ <coughs> it is available in here in this link and uh, I will put that link in description here it is um, go here and then uh, click this one download Turbo C++ after you click that, it will go and it uh, I have already installed, uh, downloaded it and then uh, once if you install it, it will clear, uh, click here, it will automatically uh, download it. After that, it will uh, be something here. Mm. Yeah, here, Turbo C++, inside you have to extract it. Uh, here are all the files uh, that you can see. Um, our main file is install this uh, install.exe. Uh, what I like to do is uh, just click this one and then extract it to the any drive. Um, for example, in here D drive as a turbo C. Um, I actually actually I already done that. So give some name over there and just. Uh, click it and then click extract it will automatically extract it over there see here turbo c++ in here you have to run this one if you run directly it won't uh, run actually because uh, this version is not uh, compatible with windows 7 so to do um, in order to access that file we use now this dos box software double click it Yes, uh, this is how it displays for me because I already made that modification. I will show you how to do this. Uh, it works perfectly in uh, full screen, and that is what I'm going to show you now. You just uh, have to um, direct this one to, to use code like CDs space um, what's that name? It's just double C enter it access and then. Uh, here I just used a CLS which is a clear screen um, and then uh, here you have to type install enter it will automatically go, uh, access that one and then next press enter to continue and in here you have to type which folder that uh, this contains that is um, the extracted drive in how I have here is D in D drive I install so I have that uh, files and then uh, press enter and then the source path turbo C is a uh, uh, default one just press uh, enter and then uh, yeah you have to speak and then uh, just once you click uh, so start install it will automatically install um, uh, after you've done that it looks something like this um, I already done it but I want to show you guys that one so just closing it now once if you uh, completed the installation process it will be something like this here PC so these are the things that you can uh, have um, in here we need to access that bin and uh, that tc.exe file this one this one so we can't access this directly the same thing it shows so what you have to do again is uh, run this dot box
yeah uh, in here we have to go there it's like a cd tc enter cd pin enter and then tc enter so here it is actually it works perfectly um, in full screen but uh, it won't uh, available for you guys to see so it's kind of a screenshot so it won't available um, it works perfectly and I will show you how to do that in full screen before that you need uh, to go to the this Dropbox uh, folder yeah here it is and you uh, double click this one Dropbox options here you need to do some uh, modification like uh, here this is the default uh, thing that I like to like you guys to modify this is my screen resolution that uh, 1366 into 768 this is my screen resolution um, you put uh, your screen resolution as a as per your like as the, something like 1000 something it will be and do that and type that one here and this should be true and this one should be true and this is original this open GL why I have uh, modified this here all the things that you can see here that the, they explain very well here what video system to use for output open GL I use that to, uh, to have some uh, easy uh, run facility in uh, Turbo C++ you know what I'm talking and uh, then very next one is here aspect it should be the false not true it, is, it should be the false and uh, this auto lock should be false this are the default thing that I uh, like to do this one changes because uh, the screen resolution depends on your monitor and these other things are default one I just want you to type this uh, modification true true original these things are, should be as what it is and then once if you're done just click on save it and close it and once you've done all the things and you just uh, double click this roll box now it should open in a full screen and it works perfectly and there is no problem in it like uh, if you uh, may face this uh, mouse does not work some kinds of stuff all things are solved in this uh, in it works perfectly just uh, have to type the code just uh, type the code uh, you know where it, you have installed it um, actually I mounted it mount D D slash because it is the default one where I have uh, installed that uh, Rubbo C++ so um, I would like to you guys to uh, use this code mount D D colon backward slash and then now uh, direct it to uh, where it is installed and then uh, CD uh, pin enter TC enter yeah here it is and it works perfectly in full screen also so and you have to do that uh, mount stuff at every time of course so in order to make it default you just open this uh, option and here uh, go to the end of this and here you have to type this mount d d backward slash and d slash it will be the default one uh, that uh, you can uh, every time you enter into the ROS box it will be automatically typed and then you will uh, display d slash and it's a very easy one I would like you guys to do this and then once you put on that and click file save and then close thing and this is it guys um, this will work so perfectly and I hope this video helpful you a lot uh, thanks for watching and please don't forget